So, I mean, really, well, like you said, John, when you talk about the moon landings being faked and what they went through um, to to really fool us, where would the where would the line stop? I mean, where would you say, no, that's too much. They wouldn't go to that length. At this point, when you look at how long this has been going and the size of the lie, anything is possible. It's hard to say that there's any stretch that they wouldn't go because it it's everything to them. It is the ultimate secret. It is the the baseline of the entire lie system is based off this lie of where you live. I could even see uh, not 24 hour sunlight, but 24 hour sort of daytime in the South based on the electromagnetic field of the earth and some sort of a Faraday effect where in the Southern summer, you could have this sort of phenomenon where the light from the sun is spreading out and around the entire uh, south because of the electromagnetic or the magnetic field that is conducive to it but even then i mean you know nasa faking that i don't know you think they'd have done it by now and the one video that i've seen of the southern uh 24 hour sun was just so obviously fake and the stuff that we've seen in the north and bob's seen with his own eyes in the north and led zeppelin wrote a song about it you know i mean it's it's common knowledge that there is the the 24 hour sun in the north but the south you know why would they fake it? I mean, you've you've caught yeah. their videos faking it, Jaron, where they're cutting out like what is it, five or six hours out of every day, and their claim is, well, we didn't want to waste tape when it was dark. <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> right. Actually, that's that's good. I was going to say that's exactly right, John. It's it's, it, but Jaron's right. You know, it's like they wouldn't. There isn't anything that they wouldn't you know stop at because, um, obviously, this is really coming down to you know one of the main issues. Uh, being the 24-hour sun in the south. You know, Jaron has busted them time and time and time again, uh, you know, cutting out anywhere from um, five to eight hours of footage um, and then trying to claim that there is a 24-hour sun. He's written them, you know, gotten responses from them. You know, basically their response is, well, that's not really our department or, um, you know, it, there's too it would take too much bandwidth. You know, all these ridiculous excuses, you know, so... Obviously, if they if they aren't going to do it via a straight up CGI, which is entirely possible, then who's to say that they couldn't launch something up in the sky, you know, with their little fake sun pattern and make it at least appear that there's a local sun um, and navigate it around in a circle? I don't think that's beyond the realm of possibility at all. And I think that you know, when it comes down to brass tacks, they may be prompted in, into doing something that desperate. Well, look at they can control balloons, right? And they can lift eight thousand pounds. So I'm pretty sure you could put a pretty bright ass light on a balloon, and if you can control its path, you just have it circle. I, I don't put it past them, um, Bob. I just put a link um, in the chat right here. If you go to that link, I was looking here the other day, and I actually went there to get a video I've seen before, um, and I noticed something new. I said, "Wait a second, why does this site show a different site uh, thing on the right?" And I said, "Oh my goodness, they added January through March of 2016, April through June 2016." I said, okay, now they've definitely faked it. If you click on one of those, Bob, go to like, um, uh, go to January through March 2016 and, um, and then press play. They did the same thing again. And I mean, that's ridiculous. If even at this point, they still are not going to show shadows doing a 360. You'll see that the shadow goes around halfway and then click, clicks over in there. They, yeah. they still can't even show the sun doing a 360. So, I mean, Unless this is the this is a psyop or something, I don't understand why they would even put this out because it's a joke. It's an absolute joke that you tell us there's a 24 hour sun that goes around, and this is the South Pole. This isn't Mawson Station. This isn't you know somewhere else. This isn't Ross. This is you know uh, Munson Scott at the 90 degree mark, and they can't even show it. It just they cut the film, and if you watch the time. Look at the time up top. It's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 5, 16. <laughs> Jeez. So what the hell are they doing? So That's it's just pathetic. pathetic. Yeah. It's, and all know, this it, is because they were trying to say bandwidth. I'm sorry, John, go ahead. I was just going to say, it, it should be tropical down there, honestly. In a globe earth scenario, that place should be freaking tropical. Yeah, it's got the sun just beating on it. It's angled right at the sun, and it's 375 earth diameters closer to the sun than it is for our summer. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's absolutely no excuse for that. That that is ridiculous. And so again, some, I'm gonna plant some palm trees and work on my tan. You got any lip balm? 
<laughs> and wouldn't you think that they would rather put up, don't they realize that it would be better to put up one month of full footage of the sun actually doing the, I mean, do we really need to see three months of half footage? Who the hell wants to see that? Like, that's not showing us anything. Who comes here to look at their webcam footage to see you cut the day in half every time? It doesn't even make any sense. Well, they're, they're counting on people not looking at the time and date up at the top. Um, they're simply saying, oh, yeah, well, I'll be darned there. It looks like it's daylight all day long, um, when, in fact, they're completely missing the obvious where it's being cut out up here. And you're right. Nowhere in existence is there any authentic 24-hour uh, footage and anything that's put out officially by them, which, of course, has to be official because nobody else can go down there to do it themselves, um, simply shows these gaping holes of, you know, five to eight hours of of uh, missing footage, which put, is preposterous. I put one more link there, Bob. This is another thing I found uh, this weekend. And this is hilarious. And I, I want somebody to explain this to me. It is a ESA um, video of an eclipse, and it actually shows the date and time on the bottom. And it says, the actual description says that the moon eclipsed the sun four times. So if you look at the date, it's 226, 2017. And four times in that day, the moon eclipses the sun. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I mean, oh I can't God. even, like, there's a partial eclipse. So, like, kind of breeze the top. But look at the time. It's just the same day, 226. Now we're at three o'clock. Now we're going to get close to four o'clock, and then the sun will come. I mean, the moon will come back into. Look at what it's doing. How could this? How could the moon be eclipsing the sun four different times in a day? Oh my like, god! I, and then I went. <laughs> the magic, it's a magic moon, like the <laughs> <laughs> like the bullet that went through five people. I mean, is that like to poke fun at us? I mean, there's. It's just ridiculous. You wouldn't even put that out even if it were true, because nobody's going to understand what the hell you're talking about. How could the moon eclipse the sun four times? It's, si it's science, man. Don't, don't you understand science? I know I don't have a degree, so I can't, I can't speak on it. <laughs> I, would love to hear, I would love to surprise like Neil deGrasse with this and ask him what's going on here. He wouldn't have a clue. Yeah. Or Charles, you know, since he is the uh, ball earth apologist. <laughs> you read the description down at the bottom. I think it flat out says like uh, the such and such satellite got to see the moon eclipse the sun four times or I don't, it doesn't make any sense. In fact, the moon crossed the satellite's view of four times, three times passing in front of the sun. <laughs> what? Oh my God. That's unbelievable. And there's only 244 views, so I guess only we had a 244 chances of somebody saying, what the hell is this nonsense? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously an animation. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, the sun, I just... Well, why, I think everything that comes out of Soho is an animation. Me too. Yeah, yeah. That's that's insane. Nice nice grab, Jaron. Nice find. <laughs> uh, we, can add, we can add this to our South Park NASA collection. Right. 